20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Mark Twain. Hey guys, welcome to season two. Here we are sitting in beautiful Bahamas, Rudder Hut Key. Pretty excited to be back. And what we're going to do with this first video is give you an introduction of what we've been doing the last several months. While we were in Stewart, we stayed at Nettles Island Marina. It was actually kind of nice because we made a few new friends and then we met some old friends. Uh, ironically, I guess, uh, one of my good friends from the Army happened to live near Stewart, uh, Brad and Brittany Boss. So we got to hang out with the Boss family for a little, few months while we were in Florida. They were our mailbox. Oh, yeah. And David ordered a bunch of things from, from Amazon trying to get the boat ready for our ocean, ocean passage and circumnavigation. So a lot of our Amazon packages were going to the Boss family. And Brittany would be like, oh, I got a package. <laughs> oh, unwritten timeline. Yeah. Who's this unwritten timeline anyway? But it wasn't only that. Lisa took up some paddle boarding and she got to go around the marina a few times. It was a little <laughs> island and it was, uh, what was it, like half a mile or a mile around? Okay, so don't get too excited. I've never done stand-up paddle board before. Bought one for the first time and it's a hybrid. So you can do a kayak or stand-up paddle board. And basically because of the waves and my balance is all not all that great yet, I did more sitting down on the stand-up paddle board. Then I actually did standing up. I think I made it 10 minutes standing up twice, but I did sit down and paddle all the way around the island many times. We had some guests come down to Florida. I think our, well, not our first guest on the boat, but I think our first guest in Florida. Yeah. And uh, Nathan and Alyssa came down yeah. to visit for a little bit. So we took them out on the boat, went sailing just out in the Atlantic for a half day sail, and then came back to the marina. And then we were also able to go to a marine park. I don't remember the name of that place, do you? I'd have to look it up. But uh, it's always a good time when when you do have family. Um, my, you know, to have my son come down and his girlfriend and spend time with us and actually live for a week on our retirement boat is pretty cool. So they can see what what we're doing, yeah. what we're planning to do, and and see why we love it so much. So that's, that's pretty pretty cool. But we did take them to that nature park or nature yeah. preserve. And, and then we also did the uh, airboat tours. Went to, oh, that went to go was see the awesome. Yeah, so you got to see the, the alligators or crocodiles or whatever yeah. they were. And then the best part of the airboat was we went back in this cove area and the cows were in the water oh, yeah. and they were afraid of the waves. Any of the wake that the boat was making and they were just so cute, you know, hanging out in the water and then running from the waves. And, and we did see, I saw a tail of an alligator and a couple baby yeah, alligators. Yeah, we didn't see anything big, just a few small ones. But it was really cool. I recommend airboat rides in the swamp swamps. That, that's awesome. That's not really swamp. What is that? Yeah, uh, it's just the Everglades. I don't yeah, know. the Everglades. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we also got to sell Star Jewel, the 2002 Hunter 326. It was our first boat. Uh, we got it in Oriental, North Carolina. Actually, I guess we technically got it in New Bern, but we had it in Oriental. Mm -hmm. Uh, sailed that thing all over North Carolina, had a great time with it, and then eventually brought it down to Florida. And now the new owner is running a sailing school in Northern Florida, so he is having uh, Star Jewel teach a whole new generation of future sailors. So that worked out pretty good. It was awesome because when they came to take a look on the at the boat, and they had done a lot of research, and since he does own a sailing school, he actually has a couple hunters already. So he's familiar with the engines and the setup and how, how they're built and made. Uh, and when he came to the boat, David was still at school or something, yeah. and I was showing on the boat, and he's looking around and opening up compartments and looking at at the engine and I'm like oh my gosh I'm watching my husband look I mean he was just like David looking at a boat wanting to open up every nook and cranny and you know how are the sails you know what what works what doesn't work and just just really good you know it's in good hands I know she's in really really good hands we completely forgot to tell you guys so while he was doing the survey course at Chapman's the second school I didn't do that I was lucky enough to get an apprenticeship at Atlantic Canvas Company which is owned by Janelle Gearing she took me under her wing and 
she knows everything about canvas and sewing and is just a wealth of information. She helped me sew these beautiful cushions that we're sitting on. Very nice. I, it was just incredible. I learned so much in the one or two months that I spent with her than I did the whole year of trying to teach myself how to sew by YouTube videos and reading books. It was just incredible. So my next big project will be making an enclosure. First the Dodger and then an enclosure so we can have this and enjoy this all year round. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that wraps it up. That brings us back to the Bahamas. The Bahamas. Yeah, so as you can tell, we're already on our way. Uh, the videos are a little bit behind. I apologize for that. But we're working to catch those up. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see where we end up and where we go from here. We'll catch you next time in the Bahamas, guys. Come join us on our journey. Now I'm ready to see, I'm ready.